Hello everyone, we're here in this video to do, as promised, uh, you know, a side-by-side -side experiment and basically, you know, real-time trading using the method that was discussed in the previous video using the, this is the 5 and 15 minute binary v2 is a binary option script that can be obtained in the indicator section of trading view if you cannot see it because I've, I've you know, put this side by side expand the window a little bit and then click on indicators and if you go into community scripts um, you can actually search for the same thing it should be 5 to 15 minute binary Okay, you gotta follow exactly as per this and, and you see it's by the person called Unhooked it will be in community scripts it's one of the um, you know very popular indicators that's the first one the second one is the binary awesome tendency so I'm gonna show you how to find that binary awesome tendencies okay so just uh, you know let's take the one that the, the more likes and basically that is this one right here so the next step is that we already have this demo account uh, open to show this video and I will be selecting a currency with a decent payout that also has a good price action. Um, at this point of time, I'm noticing that a, the, a lot of the pairs here is uh, OTC, and the the other ones here, you know, basically we're just left with this bunch that is not OTC because we need something that is non OTC so that we can actually pull up the chart <clears throat> on TradingView and give us the trading signals. Uh, I mean, we have a reversal. We discussed the reversal in the previous video. Basically, we need the candle to close and it, the, the signal candle cannot be too tall. So let's look at the time as well. Okay, we have a new candle. We can actually take it. Let's do a 5% trade for the timing of... Uh, okay, we don't have a 10 minutes trade. We'll just do a 5 minutes trade in this case. This is the reversal trade. As the previous video, I did mention that I actually much prefer trend following trade but we shall do the reversal trade to see how that works out in the meantime because all these trades are longer time frame we do not need to constantly monitor actually for this one i would have preferred to to do a uh, oh we can actually do a 10 10 or even a 15 so that was what was discussed in the previous video so we'll just do it at the same time as well and just take a simultaneous one next uh, we will look into other pairs and see what else is available for our trading that has preferably a trend follow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, we missed it. This would have been very nice if we could have gone in here. Uh, would have been a very nice win. Okay, let's have a look at this. There were not one, but even a following uh, bullish candle as well. Okay, one just finished with profit, waiting for the second one. Also, take note the price is winning. The signal bar is not too tall as well. My general idea is that if the trend is flattening out, yes, you may, may work out better. But uh, if the trend is coming very sharply downward, and then even if it reverses, you know, the reverse could be in the form of a side wave. So in a way, you can say that we're kind of like lucky on this because the, the, the trend is kind of like flattening out already. And that's why even after the signal bar, uh, we still have, uh, you know, a very uh, a good retrace. You may want to even check based on a Fibonacci and and see that you know how much of a reverse. If the signal bar already did like 23.6 of that swing, then it makes no sense at all to take that trade because there would be no movement left to be had. Uh, less than that, then there is some opportunity up to 23.6 at least. Okay. Um, it actually crossed beneath the line and it's come up, and I would think that's actually fine for us. So let's get into this Euro Aussie and do a 5 minutes trade. The payout sucks but uh, that is fine, we can express it by doing this. On a second thought, I think this may not be the best trade. Uh, if you watch my previous video about like visualizing the setups and drawing them. What we really should be looking out for is like touchbacks to the line that do not cross over. So this one, what actually fundamentally went wrong with this is that there was a crossover of the line. So that could actually screw this up. There is a narrow volume that's one. This though, this is what we want. Lapse of judgment that I took that. So look at this above and beneath. Stay, try to stay away from that. Uh, I wouldn't say try to stay away, I say stay, stay away completely. If it's like above but the movement is very narrow, then it means that it's not during the market hours. Okay, we were talked about the reversal. If the signal bar is too big, then do not take it. But if it does, um, 
above and come back down to touch without crossing to the other side like this, we can actually look towards taking a entry uh, at this point if you are getting what I'm saying because over here you see it came back above and then you know we can actually go in again. Look at this, even here, even here, look at that, look at that, see? Of course the, the, the graph will then only uptick after this green bar has appeared but what I mean to say is that this here is an, actually another opportunity to enter the trade. The Euro Aussie trade has gone cold um, in this one. Here we may have an opportunity because this is already a break out of the downtrend. We, we want another pullback to happen on the Aussie JPY and then we can take the next one for our uptrend. There's a small pullback and we set up for this trade. Alright, this one is just finished by a very large margin and we have a small uh, profit. A pullback has taken place. This one is working out in the meantime but I, I think it could have done better uh, because we're not exactly winning by a very big range. I did actually mention in my previous video that we want to see the support to be re-established a bit higher and that would help to support the trade as you can see that's why now it is it is kind of like dancing around that level. Binary awesome tendencies to to have a support line that's close up to here so that we know that it's in a very very safe boundary. So this could have been done better. And this Canadian JPY, this is actually better because we see like higher low. Yes, you may argue that this one is a little bit beneath the line, but it's not so, it, it did not actually come beneath and make like a, you know, like, like these kind of things. So it's just very, uh, it's a touch beneath and the higher low uh, establishes the uptrend as well. So this compared to the, the Aussie one, which uh, if I want to just compare it, let's do a comparison line. So you can see that, um, and this actually was a better setup, plus the higher payout too. Trust to support resistance. Okay, and just a quick reminder, uh, to this is actually the Asian session, that's why um, today, and also today the payouts are quite bad. But I guess the most important point is to show side-by-side uh, -side trading alongside the market conditions, and so you can have a good learning example about how that pans out. I hope you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and also hit the bell notifications icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post new updates. Thanks for watching.